Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss about perpetual inventory system weighted average method. The weighted average method means the goods available for sale have the same average cost per unit or the company computes a new weighted average cost per unit after each purchase. So, company, David Company Limited had prepared an inventory record for the month of July 2020 as follow. So, this is the transaction. You are required to prepare perpetual inventory system using weighted average method. So, this is the table for perpetual inventory system. The first column is for date. This one for the purchase of inventory. This is the cost of goods sold. And this is the balance of the inventory. So, the first transaction, this is the beginning inventory. We have 100 units at RM10 per unit. So, we have to record in the first uh, row, 100. We just record in the balance column, 100 units times RM10. Then, you will get 1,000. The second transaction, purchase. The company purchase 80 units with the price RM11 per unit. So, we have to record the purchase column 80 times RM11 and you get 880. And in the balance, in the balance column, we have to calculate the cost, the average cost per unit. So, what is the formula? The formula is the cost of goods available for sale RM divided by unit available available for sale. So, we look at the question 100 plus 80, you will get 180 units and 1000 plus 180, you will get 1880. So, we have to calculate average cost per unit. The formula is 1000 plus 880 divided by 100 unit plus 80 unit that we have purchased and you will get the new cost. This one we call average cost per unit. We have to calculate average cost per unit after each purchase. So this is the amount you will get RM10.44 and you will get this amount that we call average cost per unit. It means that the COGA cost of goods available for sale divided by unit Available, available for sale or number of units available. Now, we go to the next transaction, sale. 18 July, sale, 90 units. So, we have to record in order. Sale, 90 units times, we have to take the average, average cost per unit that we have calculated before 10.44 and then you will get the cost rm 939.6 or 939.60 cents now we have to record the remaining inventory 180 less that inventory to be sold 90 and we have the remaining 90 
units of inventory and this is the remaining of cost 1880 less 939.60 then you get you will get 940.40 the next one we purchase on 20th of july 70 unit times the cost is rm 12 then you will get 840 and we have to calculate the average cost per unit based on weighted average method we have to compute a new weighted average cost per unit after each purchase so how to calculate this is the formula 940 plus this one uh, this one 940.40 plus 840 where they got 840 this one this is the first inventory cost plus the purchase another purchase 840 then you will get the total 1780.40 divided by unit 90 unit plus 70 unit that we call number of units available available so you get 160 so the total or the average cost per unit is 11.13 so the next one this is for the transaction of 20th july now we go the last transaction 27 july sale the company sales the inventory 50 unit so we just record 50 we take the amount or the unit 160 we sell 50 unit and we have the balance 110 unit how do you get this balance or this remaining 160 less 50 then you will get the balance and 1780.40 less 556.50 then you will get the amount rm to 1223.90 so this one we call ending inventory cost and we have to add all the cost of goods sold for each transaction 939.60 plus 556.50 and you get the total rm 1496.10 now after finish the after finish preparing the perpetual inventory system under weighted average method we have to calculate cross profit so what is the formula for cross profit as we know that we have the answer for ending inventory 1223.90 the cost of goods sold from the table 1496.10 and cross profit we have to calculate sales sale 90 times unit no no 90 units times selling price 20 you get 1,800 1, and the second unit sold is 50 units from the question times 20 for selling price you get 1,000 so this is the total sale so sale less cost of goods sold then you will get got gross profit 2800 that you have calculated for sales less 1496.10 then you got gross profit rm 
103.90. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.